All right, I'm going to try to get this done as quickly as possible. This is the uh, uh, latest version of Cyanide uh, Lollipop uh, version 5.1 uh, for the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, this is the Verizon edition model number I605. Um, as you can see, I have the standard wallpaper on. Um, this is the wallpaper that comes with it, and also um, it comes, uh, if you just leave it set up the way it is, it, um, it comes with Nova Launcher uh, as your default launcher. So let's get into systems, or settings. Um, as you can see, it's themed uh, a little dark. Um, if we run down through the settings, we're going to go all the way down about phone uh, there you can see it's 5.1 uh, this is build uh, RC 10.2 uh, for the i605 Verizon uh, edition Android 5.1 and build number um, I the um, it is uh, SE Linux uh, permissive um, but I also flashed um, uh, the shift kernel with this when I Put the ROM on. So uh, I just like to. Uh, the ROM was built um, it, to work really well with this kernel, and it's just outstanding. So uh, let's see. Developer options, uh, and I haven't touched it yet. So as you can see, advanced reboot is already enabled by default. Um, so is uh, Android debugging. Um, I like to uh, have the uh, shortcut, uh, debugging shortcut, uh, mock location, and development shortcut. Uh, also, I always go down to the animations and set them to zero or turn them off. It just makes the phone much, much quicker, at least on this phone. The newer phones, uh, it's actually they're a little bit faster um, with you know more RAM higher bigger processors uh, they run a lot better you don't have to do this uh, I just like to uh, let's see security um, and they have unknown sources enabled by default again um, I do not like any of these uh, so I disable those I do you don't have to. Uh, it does come with a super user installed. Uh, let's see. I will say one thing. Um, I found that a lot of the builds lately, uh, they come default with 24 hour settings. So if you don't like military time, you definitely want to shut that off. Uh, it's got the theme engine built in, uh, which is nice. I will not run a, a ROM unless it has the uh, Synergy Mod uh, theme engine built into it. Um, uh, S tweaks. Uh, the S tweaks are for uh, kernel tweaking. Um, and since I have already flashed um, shift kernel with this, um, it will allow me to uh, tweak the kernels. Um, I always like to go uh, run at 1.8 or 18,000 uh, uh, kilohertz. Um, and I leave it at 200 or, yeah. Apply. And I'm just going to leave uh, the... Uh, governors where they're at. Um, normally I'll go to ZZ Move and run ZZ Move performance uh, uh, profile for the governor, but I'm just going to leave it where it is. I'm, I just wanted to show you all it was there if you flash the kernel. Um, you can do some tweaking if you don't flash the kernel, the, uh, the shift kernel with it. Um, I think there are some governor settings you can change, um, but you can't change your max um, CPU speed. Um, it's going to be set at default at 16 or 1.6 gigahertz, and that's all you're going to get. Uh, let's see here. 
cyanide mods. Um, that's where you're going to get into all of the different settings. Let me move this. I guess I can't move that out of the way. Um, weather control, wake lock blocker. I'm not going to go through all these. Um, status bar. This is the one that I like the most because I like to customize things. Um, battery. Um, it's already at icon. I like to present next to my icon. Normal charging fill. We'll go with like a green. Uh, text. We're going to go with something bold. Uh, so it stands out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, battery bar. Thank God. <laughs> I need my battery bar. Uh, status bar. Uh, we're going to go with... Uh, mm, let's go with a purple. Purple. Um, 2 DPI. And charging animation. Which I am charging right now. Um, I want to try to do this quick. But, uh, let's see, uh, also under that you have your uh, carrier labors, uh, label, cyanide, um, the uh, cyanide logo. I always put the cyanide logo up, and I like to give it this really cool color. It's like a, uh, it's like a, just a, I don't know what to call it. That's the color I like, right there. Uh, you got your custom greeting you can, you can change. Uh, I do, it comes with You've Been Poisoned. Uh, I always just put like, um, oops. Hello Dave, that'll work. You can, you can actually colorize your mobile network icons, um, but since I run a lot of themes, I don't like to do that. I like it to... Uh, be playing that way. It doesn't affect the color that the theme puts in. So I'm just going to leave them blank. But you can change the colors of your Wi-Fi icon, uh, your um, your uh, your icon for your uh, LTE. You know your regular uh, data icon. Uh, you can run network speed indicator if you want. I do not like to do that. Uh, I just think it clutters things up. Uh, let's see. Random settings. Brightness control I want. Uh, disable force close. Double tap. Privacy guard. Super use indicator. I do not want that showing. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. That's status bar. Um, and then you've got your uh, recent apps panel. You can change what you want with that. Um, I like the memory bar. I do not like a search bar in my recent apps. You do have Omni Switch if you want to use it. Uh, your power menu, M many, many, many options. Um, I do use profile switcher. Uh, I like to one click reboot. Uh, I use screenshot, screen record. I can't get it to work on this ROM. I've tried it, it doesn't work. I had to download uh, this app from the Play Store. Uh, AZ screen recorder is what it's called. Uh, don't need settings, re uh, shortcuts, and I don't need sound panel. Oh, I forgot to show you. You do have to, I think. No, okay, nope, never mind. Uh, quick settings. Um, you can uh, change your, you can add tiles to it, uh, and there are many, many tiles you can add. I mean, just <laughs> more than what you ever need. And I'm not going to go through. Um, I'm just going to show you what they have. Okay, um, but there's all the uh, adjustments for that. Uh, your notifications, uh, where's heads up? I, I don't like to use heads up. I always shut that off. It's ugh, I hate my notifications just popping up. Um, and then of course you can change your your lights. Uh, you know your, it, you know how it's it's got them there for your. Uh, uh, your default default notification, your default uh, phone, and default um, voicemail. Uh, so you can have your LEDs. You can put your color wherever you want it. Uh, let's see. Uh, buttons. Um, you can change uh, 
your backlight for your hard hardware keys. Uh, and you can enable navigator bar here. I don't like I don't like the navigator bar. It just takes up too much screen for me. My choice. Um, let's see. Home button mic. I like that. Answer call home button. No. Yes, I like to answer the call with the home button. Long press recent apps. Got good job. Good good good. Menu button. Uh, okay, yes. Alright, I'm done with that. Um, animations. There's your... You can you can animate just about everything in here. The only one I ever use is the scrolling. I like the quick scrolling. Um, I, I usually take that up to about 19, and I drop this one down to 20. That's how I set mine up. Pull that up, pull that up, and that's good. That's how I set it up. Uh, but you can change your list view if you want it, like, you know, really doing some funky stuff, like I could set wave, and then I'll show you. And then when you scroll, see how the bottom scrolls. So that's, that's cool. I'll leave it there. Uh, let's see, and that's pretty much for the uh, the modifications uh, under your cyanide, cyanide mods. Uh, cyanide Central is going to give you access to um, about Cyanide L. Uh, the change logs and the download centers. Uh, the download centers you can download like your shift kernel stuff like that, and G apps and and things like that. So, but I will tell you that I loaded the ROM. It picked up my uh, uh, my um, data very very quickly, um, and uh, had no problems with Wi-Fi. Um, my GPS is working. Everything is working good on this. Um, I like that it comes with Nova Launcher. The only apps that I loaded on this, I will tell you, these are all the apps that came with it. The only ones that I loaded, other than the G apps that you see on here, um, were uh, Messenger, uh, the Message Plus. Uh, that's the one I loaded. Uh, I like Verizon Messenger or Messages. I just, I know it's stupid, but I think they have one of the better messaging uh, apps out there. Um, and the other one that I loaded on would be the screen recording and that was it it actually comes with um, ES file explorer on the ROM uh, so that's there um, and when you uh, install shift kernel it will come with s tweaks so and there you have it um, a quick overview of I guess it wasn't that quick but an overview of uh, cyanide L uh, version uh, 5.1 for the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 Verizon edition model number I605. Um, they are going to be coming out with version uh, 5.1.1. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, 5.1.1s out lately, so uh, they are going to upgrade. I'm not in a big rush. This is working beautifully, so I'm just happy the way it is. All right, uh, hope you enjoyed this, um, and uh, we'll see you around.